hear what you try to disturb me. So, I'll play silently today. There's a bunch of places where we can look. Look at the box. A large crate. It must have been delivered as I, um, I swept. Great. By the way, this is Welber. Welber is a friend. He's our friend and the character we played in the first game. In the demo, sorry. What's this? Dwarfs are excellent stone masons. That fireplace is proof. I wonder how it helps us. Let's open up the wooden box then. Wilbur, Let's see. Do it. Yeah, of course. Not a chance. I'll never get this crate open with my bare hands. I, I see that the characters in this game aren't really able. Oh, great. But the characters in this game aren't actually able to do a lot with their bare hands. That hmm. seems to be the rattle where the little beast plans its raids. Ah, and this is the one that uh, you raid. Right? A thieving rat. Devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. We have to find it. Then, though. It means we have to find a way to prevent it from doing so. A dwarf-sized crowbar. So it's pretty big. Yeah, take it, take it. What's a crow? Ah, okay. I know what's this. A dwarf-sized crowbar. So it's pretty big. Uh, this is one well, of the pipes. What they, what they are about. The pipes run through the walls hmm. and floor. They are part of the central beer supply system, which runs through the whole bastion. Oh, great. The chair. Show me the chair, show me the chair. That's the master brewer's favorite spot. He likes to relax there in the evenings. Sit down. Oh. It's a and map. This? It says the country's best pubs on it. It shows the area reaching mm -hmm. from our beautiful White Ridge Mountains down to the sea, where the humans live on the coast. That's even better. Right, and I would the... Very low point. Uh, let's ask this guy. He wants us to catch the rat, right? Hello, Master Brewer, sir! Hi. Hi, Wilbur. Can we ask him? How are the beer tests? Is everything okay with the beer? That's not so easy to say. It's complicated with beer. <laughs> you may think, mmm, that tastes good. But then, BAM! The finish is all mm -hmm. off. Earthy and musty, and there's nothing you can do. But of course, you can't really tell from just one pint. <laughs> Typical dwarf, it seems. Uh, yeah, so we want me to send a robot on the rat. So I'm supposed to uncreate the robot and send it after the rat? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be too difficult for you, being a gnome and all. You've got the right kind of hands for all that technical stuff. <laughs> really? I'm not really all that into technology. I'm more interested in the mysterious powers of magic. Oh. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm sure there's some instructions in the crate. Shouldn't be that difficult for Mr. Mage. <laughs> All right, so at least we know what's in the crate, I think. Ah. And I can go as soon as I've caught the rat. So I can call it a day once the robot has caught the rat? Aye, you can go back home and get some sleep. That's always nice. Uh, and where are the other dwarves? Where That's are the other a good dwarves, question. anyway? All the way fighting, you know that. Uh -huh. There's been nobody here except me for years. I'm keeping the whole place ticking over. So if you you're... weren't here, lad, I'd probably have pegged it from loneliness long ago. <laughs> hmm. Wonder where we actually are. Have we won? Have we still not won the war What's yet? What's the news from the front? The alliance is winning, isn't it? It's a hmm. proper mess. They just swing back and forth. It's been like that for years. That's not good. Neither side has the advantage. Today, we take Finsterberg, and tomorrow the Shadow Army plunders Auenheim. Today, we take not care good. of Garrett the Throat Slitter, and tomorrow they nobble Bella Sunnythor. At the moment, we've got hmm. Troga's fortress under siege, the old Arch Witch. Not getting anywhere fast, though. It could still be years before either uh, side gets the upper hand. So... Hopefully we do. 
It's a Aye, clash. Let's hope so. <laughs> hmm. Yeah. I'll take care let's of the robot keep... then. I'm the rat. About Aye, let's keep doing on. that. Can we go this way? Will Bert tell us? That's the exit, but I can't call it a day yet. So First, we I have can't. To teach the house robot. Right, right. Uh, now this is the thing. We know that the crowbar will help us, of Let's course, see. open this little chest. Great. This is the house What's robot. That? Ah, the user manual. Hmm. <laughs> user manual. Let's see. Wood Ooh. elvish. <laughs> Here we are. Dwarven. Ooh, that's great. Thank you for purchasing an X100 house <laughs> robot. That was so great. The latest in house robot technology. Okay. Feed the X100 the stinking remains of your disgusting existence, but absolutely no broccoli or Brussels sprouts. Mm hmm. Hmm. Rats. There. Rat care. Rats breeding. Ah, rat hunted. Rat hunted. In order to yeah. hunt rats or vermin of any kind, you must first feed the X100 with DNA from your target. Ooh. DNA carriers include hair, blood, sweat, sweat snot, snot, and, and ugh, other things. Great. So we need... Okay, so first I have to give the robot a little garbage appetizer to start it up before I feed it the main course, rat DNA. Mm. Finally. A simple rat trap. Great. What do you know about the robot? According to the manual, the X100 needs kitchen scraps or rubbish to function properly. Hmm. What can we try? Rat hole. The rat has chewed through the wood. There's some fur hanging from a splinter. Ooh, I'll take that. That might be useful. A small tuft of that thieving rat's fur. This might be useful. I think we should get this to the robot. I have to power the thing up first. Oh, great. According to the manual, the X100 needs kitchen hmm. scraps or hmm. rubbish to function properly. Where can we find the kitchen scraps or rubbish? Probably in the kitchen. Which means there. Come on. Oh, crap. Crap. There's a lot of things here. Uh, emblem it. Dwarven. That is Bastion's emblem. Actually, an entire battalion of dwarves is supposed to be stationed here. They are not Each here. Each battalion consists of seven companies, which in turn consists of seven platoons. Seven, seven, seven. Each platoon consists of seven squads of seven dwarves. Dwarves hmm. have this thing for the number seven. Yeah, we've already seen that. Hmm. <sighs> Apertures. The master brewer says these kettles are used to make beer. This is his private hmm. setup, and the proper ones are in the cellar. All right, this is not helping. Cooking pot. We might find something here. An old, rather dirty cooking pot. Uh, yeah. We of course have to find. Ah, oh, mutant slime. Maybe Great. I should have thrown out the rest of that chocolate pudding. <laughs> Okay, we can't There is take... no way I'm taking that pot with the evil slime in it. Slime can't. can be really evil. Bad slime. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, a pile of dirty dishes. More? The longer the other dwarves are away, the less attention the master brewer pays to things like this. This is not helping. Uh, it's a little bit the too much. The stove isn't used much. Though this morning the master brewer heated up a few beer sausages on it. Okay. The stove is still a little warm. You couldn't cook anything on it, but you could eat something up. All right. A tin coffee pot. It hasn't been used in ages. And guaranteed not for <laughs> coffee. The master brewer doesn't trust non-alcoholic drinks. Yeah, some people have tendency for that. Anything else? Oh, no. A very roughly knotted net with loose ends. Maybe it's used for fruit. Although I've or never seen possible. any fruit around here, the master brewer prefers heartier fare. And it's winter. Let's take it. We have a net with us. Oh no, a very roughly knotted net with loose ends. Maybe okay, it's used okay. for fruit. Although I've never seen any fruit around here, the master brewer prefers heartier fare. 
What's this? I call it A History of Dwarven Cuisine The Last Three Weeks by Wilbur Weathervane. <laughs> take it, take it, take it. We need this, it seems. Ugh. A very positive thing with this game, with these kind of games, is where if, you can, if you're able to take something, you take it. Dwarven fast food. Fast food. But I'm not hungry. I uh, am, but I am. This pump can be used to pump water up from deep in the mountain. Okay. Although I wouldn't bet on it still working. I'd do it. This will be funny, probably. I thought so. Broken. The dwarves have a lot of work hmm. ahead of them when they get back. If they come back. <sighs> Quite true. What's this? Look the sun the is pretty low. It'll be dark soon. And the dragon will fall on us, I think, sooner or later. Rubbish. That's what The rubbish need. bin is almost overflowing. Presumably, it's my job to empty it, but... Oh, well. Take it. Come on. We need rubbish. We have rubbish, then. Can we use anything of this on... Doesn't look like it. So, back to the main hall. Mm-hmm. Now, rubbish. Or, just wait. What is kitchen waste? Oh, 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 oh what? Alright. Let's see help. how it likes this. <laughs> Good to Aha. know how he looks. Works. Good. Ugh. It looks like the X100 really liked that rubbish. At least it's purring like a cat. Good now to I know. just have to get it to hunt like one. Which means we give him uh, this, I think. And now the fur. A source of rat DNA. Simple. Do what you're told. Okay. This guy started. Ooh. Hmm. And it's gone. It won't be back anytime soon either. Problem solved. I hope so. Quest finished. The X100 makes a pretty good rat hunter. I just hope it never mistakes me for a rat. Me do too. Wilbur. Uh, from the two heroes, uh, for now, I more like the elven girl, because she's a elf and she's a girl, instead of Wilbur, who's a gnome. But he's very, mm, I won't say cute, but, uh, adorable. Okay. Hello, Master Brewer, sir! Aye, aye, Wilbur. Finished. I did it. Uh, Rat has made his play, yeah. Oh, uh, wait, it's a slime. Did you know there's an evil slime living in a pot in the kitchen? Ooh. Oh, yes, it nicked a sausage off me this morning. Uh -huh. Oh, doesn't that bother you? <laughs> well, yes. Live and let live, I say. As long as it doesn't develop a taste for beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I made the play. The rat has made his play. The rat's gone. I saw. It's amazing what you little gnomes can puzzle out, eh? Really? Did we do the that? The rat's lost his appetite for my hops at any rate. He won't be coming back for a while. <laughs> can I call it a day now? Of course you can. Great. Safe home, my lad. See you tomorrow. Uh-huh. See ya. Bye. See you later, lad. Can we do anything more here? To be honest, I'm not going to put my mm -hmm. hand in there without a very good reason. Who knows what the rat has hidden there? Maybe rotten food, or already digested food, or even more rats. Might be. Let's leave this place. And another day ends. And, as usual, I didn't save any princesses, or fight any dragons, or hunt any orcs. Mm, I chased a rat off, just happened. and I didn't even do it myself. I used a fully automated robot instead. It's going to take more than mm -hmm. that before my statue stands next to Knight Tilo in the Hall of Heroes, but I'm going to make it one day. Yeah, that's the very beginning of this story. And that was well, what the story is all about. Ooh, snowy. Oh, for the love of God! This is close. Oof. Yeah, we saw that coming, didn't we? Hey you, boy! You've got to get me out of here! Quickly, please! Hmm. I was abducted 
an elf freed me. They want... They want what? You've Whatever they want. Me. I have the key to something that could determine the fate of the war. Listen, boy. It's too late. You see this ring? I don't see it. Ah, it's now I the see key. it. Take it to the human arts mage in the town of Seastone. You understand? But... Take it. All of our fates depend on it. Ooh. The dragon came and went. And we have the very beginning. We have a the one ring. Oh, dude, dude, nobody's going to believe this. Uh, There's oh. no way I'll make it down <laughs> to the human town by the sea on my own. I need help. I should ask the master brewer for help. Or granddad. He fought for the alliance. Who? We have a bunch of bunch of places to go. What's this? Entrance to the gnome hall. Roll something. What's this? Dwarf statue. Okay, let's try this. The action. Probably the statue of some famous begins. dwarven leader. I don't know much about their history. <laughs> okay. This is the dwarven bastion. Uh, of course, it's pretty cold all year round up here in the mountains. But this year, winter came particularly early. The one that came now in my country isn't really that fierce. It's like minus five, minus seven. Still good. Let's take the icicles, they will be probably needed. It worked. I got one. Great. Roll. A rolled up tarpaulin. <laughs> probably just like the ones hanging all over the place. <laughs> Great. Then take it. If you can. Good. What's this here? Up here? Bastion. The bastion looks so impressive. However, many of the mm -hmm. halls and corridors were never completed. How annoying. The tarps are supposed to offer the stone masons a little protection. Don't they have think to be they pretty do. tough if they're out there in all kinds of weather. Alright. So let's go where? Let's see, what do we have here? There's no way I can walk all the way to Sea Stone. That's many days march through these mountains. That's a problem. Seems so. Uh, let's see the gnome entrance. We probably leave here. Live here. Don't we? Well the That's the entrance to my family's gnome hall. We've been living here for generations. Just in front of a big dwelven castle. Let's go inside. There should be something here. Someone. What? Where should we start? Appar apparatus on the wall. Looks like a clock. One of something. my dad's inventions. He calls it a time measurometer. It spits the day into two periods of 12 hours each okay. and shows which hour we are currently in. Mm -hmm. What's this? A lamp? Another one of dad's inventions. He calls it eclecticity or something. <laughs> it's got something to do with hamsters. Hamsters, right? And this is what? My family. That's my family. Right now, Ooh. just Grandad and I are holding down the fort. The others are all at a technology trade show down south. My dad is uh -huh. a mechanic and a physicist. He primarily works on uh, things. Yeah, Mother that is happens. just a whole wife and geneticist. The baby is my little sister Sydney. I think she'll be a researcher too. Mm -hmm. She once doubled her baby phone's data transfer rate using nothing but a rattle and a rubber ball. My other Ooh. little sister is Maggie, my parents' pride and joy. She mainly concentrates on robotics, combat robots to be exact. Okay, Granddad so is a war veteran she's working and conducts for the secret military research. Whenever Dad lets him in the workshop, that is. Looks uh -huh. like I'm the proverbial exception to the rule. I'd rather go out into the world and become a mage, a hero like hmm. Night Tilo. But someone has to look after Grandad and the Master Brewer. I'm more of a local unsung hero. <laughs> unsung hero. That's a nice one. Uh, what's this? Oh no, we can go down, not yet. What's this? Here? That door is part of Dad's living space optimization unit. Behind it is sort of a car park for rooms. Car park for rooms? 
A chair. A chair, just a chair. Good. Strange ball, what's this? Hey, my mechanical flying fish Nemo. How did you get there? One of the few technical devices I ever built. Mm -hmm. Well, to be honest, actually my father and my sister really, but uh, I did watch. <laughs> Take it. Might be useful someday. What was that all about? It flies. At least it really tries to fly. How will it, it help It still me? works. A solid example of norm technology. Okay, technology. Take it. Take it. For the... Oh, I can't reach that. Perfect. Chemistry experiment. My mother is a real whole wife. She spends her time on chemistry, biology, genetics, and that kind of stuff. Hmm. Right. Those are my plants. mom's plants. She grows a lot of that green stuff. She keeps trying to okay. genetically change the plants so they can grow up here amidst the icy mountains. Good luck with that. Flower pot. A flower pot full of potting soil. Hmm. hmm. Doesn't look like mother planted anything in there. So we'll probably have to do it. What's this? Levers. Those are the controls for our living space optimization unit. My father invented them. Okay. What can we That's do with it? That's the lever it? for my little sister's bedroom. I'm not touching that. Right. She builds combat robots, and she kind of hinted that she knows how to protect her privacy. Okay. That's the lever for my parents' bedroom. I can't use it until they get back. Great. Then at least, Wilbur, at least try... Your room would be nice. This is my very cool room. Very cool. Very small. And this is what? Our kitchen. Alright. What do we have here? What's inside hmm, here? A pale blue glowing liquid. Something tells me it's probably not good for you. Uh -huh. But take it anyway. My mum wrote super fertilizer on it. Probably one of her genetic experiments. Might be true. Knife. Mum hid the knives as a precaution. After granddad's knife throwing training classes last year, <laughs> she doesn't trust us anymore. Alright. But take it anyhow. Master Merlin's antibacterial kitchen cleaner. The dirt disappears like magic. If only I could cast spells like Merlin, <laughs> or any other household cleaner for that matter. That would be helpful. Take it. Take everything. Our flour mill. Mother makes sure mm. we eat a healthy diet. One day we'll all be big and strong, comparatively. Hmm, <laughs> there's still some grain mm. in the funnel. Barley, I think. Take it then. By the way, what's this ring? A heavy gold ring. Oh, it feels warm. There is some... Ah, Kraman. The more. Gremlin's gold ring. I should get it to the human archmage as quickly as possible. Alright. And let's see your room, Wilbur. Do you have anything interesting here? Rucksack. My old gnome scout rucksack. Pretty tough, that. But somehow I always had the feeling it could have been mm -hmm. a little larger. Take it. Or take what's inside. I wonder if putting small bags and pouches in it would increase the rucksack's capacity. I don't think so. Mm, and something. The tennis rockets. Why do you have My that? old tennis racket. Although I was never very good. Hmm. The Might cat be useful. Cut is missing. What did I use that for? Right. Seems we have to go down the stairs. And down we go. <laughs> no, that's an interesting in thing. We probably end up in a laboratory or some of sorts. Yeah, we did. Hold! Who's there? Me. Hi, Grandad. It's me. I doubt it. What's the password? Hmm. <laughs> Mm, nuclear first strike? Nuclear first strike, sir. Hmm, correct. What do you want? 
Uh, a gremlin gave me this ring. Yeah. He said it's very important. He said the ring has to be delivered to the arch mage as quickly as possible. A ring? Have you checked it for contamination? Hmm. Cont... Cont... Um, what? what? <laughs> for curses, hexes, poison. No, I think I, so. Uh, what am I talking about? Uh. Of course you have. No one would accept a ring from a gremlin and not check it for curses. So we're Dangerous cursed already. Dangerous little blight does those gremlins. You shouldn't feed them after midnight, you know. Hmm. The, uh, the, the gremlin said this ring could decide the course of the entire war. And that means decide what? Decide the course of the war? That would be... Where is this gremlin? He was digging. He'd been kidnapped. He barely had time to give me this ring. It should be taken to the hmm. Archmage as quickly as possible. The Archmage? Hmm, yes, yes. He'd know what to do. Yeah, mages this usually tend to do that. This is what we've been waiting for. This is what we've trained for. Trained what? Uh, <laughs> this is the hour in which a stout youngster becomes an adult. The hour of glory. The hour of fame. Hour, hour. What are you talking what, about? What, what do you mean, stout? Hmm. Does everyone know what they have to do? No. I don't. Right, men. Let it be so. I think... He's not the type of person who knows exactly what to do. Oh, he's doing something. I don't know if I like it. Hmm. There's a bunch of stuff around here. Granda has this thing about secrecy. I think he's afraid of Shadow Army spies or something. Right, right, okay. Vice. Dad's vice brings back a lot of memories. Painful, mostly. <laughs> Alright. What else, what else is here? Machines. A huge machine? I mean, even for Grandad. He's hmm. really taking advantage of Mum and Dad being away. Yeah, that happens. Some people. Silver rope. A thin, silvery, elven rope. It's very light and almost unbreakable. Yeah, we would have a use for that, I think. Ooh, my inventory grows. Toolbox. That's Dad's spare toolbox. Well, he took his everyday tools, his travel tools, and his finest tools with him. Mm-hmm. So, let's search it, then. Let's see. What are we here? Wrench, pliers, auger grease, a minotaur foot, a curse meter. I'll just take the entire box. That is a... Good idea. Mm. Ah, an old extension arm. Very handy if you're too small to reach an object. Kind of a widespread problem amongst us gnomes. Then you, we will probably have a use for that as well. Mm -hmm. Parts Scrap. of some machine or something. If it's useless, it's Dad's. If it's broken, it's Grandad's. And if it's dangerous, it's from my sister Maggie. <laughs> That's one of Grandad's great inventions. A ship mm -hmm. which travels underwater. It can already sink. Seems this is a very interestingly looking uh, family. Those are jelly glowfish lamps. As long as you feed them every couple of weeks, they're good for years of light. <laughs> can we take it? I don't think so. Problem is, we don't really know what to do at the moment. The locker won't open. It was badly damaged two years ago in the uh -huh. devastating spring cleaning explosion. Cleaning explosion. Okay, let's speak with the uh, granddad. No. Granddad? Call me Colonel. Just what Colonel? exactly are we to do now, Colonel Granddad? We've just discussed that. You get the equipment, I'll sort out the means of transport. Equipment for what? That's true enough. For what? Hmm. Interesting leg he has. For your journey to the town of the humans, of course. You need to pay more attention, my boy. Okay. I'm supposed to... I, I thought someone else... Who? Cool. <laughs> I very much doubt you'll find anyone else here who's prepared to look death in the eye. This <laughs> is your chance to be a tragic hero, my boy. Tragic. A painful loss for the Alliance. Don't you want to be a hero? 
Maybe sure, I, I'd like to do something exciting, but I'm not sure I'm ready to try being a... Uh... Try? <laughs> there is no try, only do. This is your chance. That's a reference to something. Hero, and I'll show everyone that this old gnome is still good for something. So, okay. here's the plan. You get yourself some good gear, I'll sort out the means of transport. Tell me what's right. the gear. I can have a look around, but no promises. Uh, yeah, what's the stuff I need? About my equipment. Yes? Have you got everything? I don't know. What exactly should I take? That's true enough. Let me think. Hmm. You need a helmet. You can fight without legs, but you can't fight without a head. Without legs? Uh. And you need a map of the area. Reconnaissance is everything. We are living in the information age. So I need a map okay. and a helmet. Got it. That's just the and beginning, then, of isn't it? Course, you need a parachute. Better to be safe than sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, just why I mean a parachute? Just a precaution. A <laughs> precaution. Uh... Okay. Uh, one thing I know for sure, and this is quite visible, because the demo starts with Wilbur getting smashed on a wall. We'll be probably uh, ejected. <laughs> What do you think this ring is all about? This ring, do you really think it could end the war? I don't know if there's hmm. anything that can end this war. The gremlin said it would change all our fates. Maybe it's a powerful magic ring. That would be we nice. We are simply soldiers, my boy. We fight when we are told to. Don't worry yourself about anything else. Sounds sensible. Let's keep that in mind. How am I supposed to get into the human town yet? Um... I'm supposed to travel to a human town in your machine, right? Absolutely, it's the quickest way. Mm. And the safest? Absolutely, it's the quickest way. But we asked about safety. Yeah, the Archmage of the humans, who is it? Do you know the Archmage? Have you ever met him? I've never mm. met him. After all, he's a great leader and I'm just a simple, highly decorated gnome colonel. But I've okay. heard lots about him. He's a powerful mage, of course. That is he's quite an advisor obvious. to the king. And he's our most powerful alchemist and chief of the secret service. He lives in a tower okay. down by the sea in Seastone. Of course, being the important man he is, he's always away on business. So what's the I chance hope he's there. That... I always wanted to meet a real mage. <laughs> if he's not there, you'll have to wait for him or go and look for him. You must only yeah. give the ring to the Archmage in person, you hear me? No one else! That is quite Give obvious. me your word of honor. If the ring really is important, then it shouldn't mm -hmm. be our fault if it lands in the wrong hands. Okay, okay. I swear I'll give it to the Archmage personally. Good. Let's I'll keep go look looking, for the rest then. of my gear. You do that. I've got enough to do here. But remember... Mm -hmm. Never look a Medusa in the eye, and never look at anyone on the underground. Right. Good. Not many things left over here. Let's see. Can we use anything of these? I'd never been able to pull the rope tight enough to get a useful tension on it. And okay. anyway, I can't play tennis without a ball. Besides, I have more important <laughs> things to do than play tennis. To put it succinctly, Enough. no. Let's see. These things ever able to? Can we use any of these things? One on the other. Yeah, I tried that already. Uh, but I quite see what well this is leading. I'll just knot the loose ends around the frame. Now this. Wouldn't want to play tennis with it, but it does make a fine scoop net. That might be useful. This is what I like in this game. Things are quite plain. They actually tell you what to do. Let's leave this area. I very much doubt that we will... We can do more here. Let's go to the city. Then. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. Master Brewer, sir! Hello, Master Brewer, sir! Where are you? Hmm. He's sleeping. This time. 
Master Brewer, sir, Master Brewer. Mm, what? Yeah, what? yeah, tell me. We have to tell the other dwarves. There was this gremlin in a cage and he gave me this ring and... And then then? What kind of ring then? This, this ring. It's a very important ring. The gremlin said all our fates... Uh, Wilbur, I really don't have time for this kid stuff. I've got more important things to do. He's not helping. But the ring has to be delivered to the Archmage down in the human town. The gremlin mm. said it could end the war. Listen, laddie, that's a ring. What's it supposed to be able to do? It's... I have to. The, the gremlin wasn't lying. Just think about it. When has anybody ever given nowhere. an important ring to a little being like a gnome? That sort uh, of Lord thing of the Ring doesn't happen. Uh, but uh, that's uh -huh. enough. Now go home. It's getting late. All right, this guy is not going to help us. <sighs> I guess I can't expect any help from the master brewer. But he is what? Beards are important to dwarves. The longer the mm. beard, the more respect the dwarf gets. And the beard ornaments tell you a lot about their owner. <laughs> the Master Brewer, for example, is a second-degree keg roller. He was born the ninth of twelve children, and he's got a weak spot for beer. Yeah, he's a bachelor, that. but isn't one for walks in the morning dew. And he was almost kicked <laughs> out of school for pulling a girl's moustache. But this is us. No, I can't. I... Well, maybe I can. Of course you can. And this is what I like about this game. <laughs> nice music. I'm uh, gonna burn in hell for this, guaranteed. Yeah, it is guaranteed. I made a scoop net out of my old tennis racket and that piece K of net K I found. And this? A piece of the Master Brewer's beard. If he ever finds out, I'm his. Yeah, your history. But. This just wants to be used. First, the robot needs more energy. I'll have to feed it some table scraps mm. of rubbish. We have rubbish, I think, don't we? <laughs> I don't know where this is going to to lead. <laughs> no way. This the is robot going... gets its energy from rubbish. That's got the power supply sorted out then. And this will be funny. Must be. I wonder if that would work. At least it would distract the Master Brewer a bit. But... why? <laughs> ah! Hello? Stop! That wasn't supposed to happen. Uh... I have a uh, feeling that wasn't such a brilliant idea. Oh, I like the Master Brewer. <laughs> but what this gives us... That was amazing! Hmm. The eternal struggle of dwarf against machine, and I won. <laughs> uh, are you okay? Of course. Why not? You think a <laughs> stupid? Ugh, that was good. Something's happening at last. Cause for celebration. I think we should drink to that. So we'll drink a beer, and that will lead to what? Now he's drinking. No, 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 not at the pipes. Uh huh, I can take the map, and that means we have the reconnaissance. I think he's drunk with victory, so he shouldn't see anything. Do it. I have it. The map of the area. All I need now is a helmet mm -hmm. and a parachute. I hope I don't need to use the parachute. I always like to keep my feet on the ground. <laughs> True enough. The map shows the area between here and the human town of Seastone. That's what. That's good. Let's see if something happens here. Oh, uh -huh. this guy was destroyed. Where should we? Let's see. Where can we find the parachutes? Hmm. The master brewer says it's very easy to brew beer. Still, hmm. he did go to school for years to learn how. Where can we find... What can we do? Ah, oh, this empty coffee pot. Hmm, the coals in the oven have kept the stove warm. We have to do something with it. To 
can maybe make it a tin coffee pot. It hasn't been used in ages. Might and guaranteed good. not for coffee. The master yeah. brewer doesn't trust non-alcoholic drinks. Yeah, we know that. That will. I think this coffee pot. We have to do something with it to make it a helmet. Which is no what? Will this help? I don't really think I'll be able to scoop the slime out of that pot. Oh wait, no. The pot will become the helmet. And what we need is to do something with the slime. Nope. Oh wait, we should use it here. No. Extra strong antibacterial kitchen cleaner. Yeah, that should help. I oh. can't get close enough. It'll snap at me and slime me. <laughs> slime me. Um A perfect fit. Of course. Now we can make long reaching attacks on bacteria. Or a slime. The pot could make a perfect helmet, but how do I get rid of that sl slime? Can be really evil. Ba okay. I pointed out. Crap! Use it like this. Now I'm gonna do something I should have done a long time ago. Dead. It's too bad that slime had to be so evil. Evil things die. As well. Now that's a helmet fit for a hero. It only stinks a little bit. <laughs> so that's two of the three pieces of gear already. So all I need now is a parachute. This will be our parachute, but how? A rip-proof tarpaulin with eyes along the sides. Surprisingly light. Yeah, light. That's what we need. But what should we do with it? That's a big problem. A crystal clear icicle. Uh -huh. I broke it off outside the bastion. We know that. A good handful of barley from my mother's kitchen. Okay. Oh, okay. That won't work. How am I supposed to attach the tarpaulin to the backpack? That's obvious. We'll be using the rope. I'll thread the rope through the eyes around the edge of the tarpaulin. Done. And that's a parachute. Or at least parachute when we put it Let's inside see. the backpack. Let's see. If I pull the rope through the eyes on the rucksack... Yes, that should work. There we go. A parachute. We have everything. I think, I, I think and so. that's the last of my gear. I must get back to Grandad fast. Move it, Wilbur. See ya, and let's move it. And this is what I like about this game. Everything is quite simple, not very complex like the, the other games, adventure games that I played. And okay. down we go. Mm hmm. I wonder how this thing works. Right. Hey, Mr. Colonel Grandpa. Um, I have. Excuse me, Colonel Grandad? Oh, he's Grandad, sorry. Yes, report back. I found a helmet. I have the pot. Um, um, helmet. <laughs> Excellent, soldier. The helmet will protect you from physical attack. You can even mm -hmm. sit on it and use it as a saucepan. Ooh, how practical. How good. Let me see your helmet. It's not all that great, I know, but... What? It's a good helmet <laughs> and it's going to protect a good soldier. That is, of course, as long mm -hmm. as the enemy doesn't attack with dragons or has wizards in its ranks. Or magical swords and doesn't go for your head. Maybe I should look for some mm -hmm. armor with magic. Poppycock! That helmet will do. Good enough. A parachute. Then. I have a parachute. Fantastic! Parachutes mm -hmm. are hard to come by and are difficult to make yourself. That After wasn't really all, that difficult. You'd only want to entrust your life in a quality product, not something makeshift you've patched together yourself. <laughs> That's exactly what we Just did. Just my life. But. Of course. I, I mean, I mean, of course not. Good. Uh, yeah, Master Brewer doesn't want to Well, help. we can't expect any help from the Master Brewer. He doesn't believe the ring is important. I didn't expect much more from that cowardly drunkard. Ooh. Grandad, he's my boss. And Some boss so? sits in his fortress drinking beer from dawn till dusk while his comrades are fighting on the front line. I think he misses them. Well, perhaps. Whatever. But one thing's for sure. 
We are on our own, soldier. Good enough. I have a map got too. A map. Excellent. My commanding officer always said good maps are half the battle. Of hmm. course, you won't be needing it if everything goes well. If what goes well? See. But if not, it's always <laughs> good to have a map with you. What? So, that's the last of my gear. The quest was finished again. Excellent. We mm -hmm. could get going if only my damn machine would work. Great. But you can't find a thing in this house. No nitroglycerin, no dragon hide armor, no concentrated pillars of salt, no what? full mithril jacket bullets. Nothing. Oh. What? What do you need all that for? For what? It's a war! No, but not we just really want to here. deliver the ring to the Archmage. Don't you think a sled. <laughs> what? I need a nitroglycerin substitute. Something highly explosive. Okay. The only thing that comes to mind is good old dwarven ale. Dwarven mm -hmm. ale? Devilish stuff. We reduced complete countries to ash and rubble with it. Did we? we? loved the smell of dwarven ale in the morning. <laughs> okay, I'll get you some dwarven ale. Anything else? Yeah. Yes, I need a cog. A 5 8 inch screw steel sprocket, what? straight beveled, hard chrome plated, BSA threaded flange with right Jesus. hand thread and lock ring locking. This terminology is out screws, of my reach. I can't find one anywhere. Hmm. hmm. A 5 8 inch screw steel sprocket, straight beveled, hard chrome plated, BSA threaded flange with right hand thread and locking lock ring. Oh, Sounds crap. familiar. Come back when you've got the stuff. I'll sort out the rest. Uh... But bear in mind. The Dark Lord knows all of your thoughts. Right. I don't think so. Uh, Alright. I have totally no idea what he's talking about. Let's see. Do I have any of it? Excuse me, Colonel Grandad. I don't have the ale, I think. Yes, report back. Uh, no, well, since we don't I'll, have it. I'll let you get on with your work. So for yes, the moment, and get a move on. We haven't got much time. Be enough. But bear in mind, the Dark Lord knows all. All right, 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 right. Ah, uh, hmm. So we save the game. Uh, I should be fine to save it here as well. And then the next time we try to get ourselves uh, some ale, but. Unlike uh, the ale you can get in the pub at Werven Ale. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Gabriel, and this is the Book of Unwritten Tales. Feel free to comment, to ask questions, feel free to uh, communicate with us. And we hope you enjoyed the little, quite long episodes because this game is just very slow paced. See ya!